Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. Just a reminder that we have a new logo, a new website, and new and improved videos coming to you every single week. Now this week we're going to talk about embedded deductibles within HDHPs or high deductible health plans. Now just as a reminder, in order to contribute and open an HSA, you have to be enrolled in a qualified high deductible health plan coverage and can't have any other disqualifying coverage. So let's talk about the embedded deductible issue that comes up time and time again. Now when an individual is enrolled as family, meaning anything other than just single only coverage under a high deductible health plan, that deductible, if it's embedded, cannot be less than the statutory minimum family deductible. And for 2020 and 2021, the IRS has already set that at $2,800. So if an individual has an individual deductible and has family coverage that's less than 2,800, even if it's 2,700 or 2,750, then that makes the entire plan not a qualified high deductible health plan, which in turn means that any HSA contributions that were made are now taxable to that individual and has to have to be cured through what we call a curative distribution. Now, this is important because when you're doing your planning with your clients coming up for January plan years, you'll want to make sure that that family deductible is not set any lower than whatever the statutory minimum deductible is. And again, that's 2,800 this year. So you'll want to take a close look at the plans, take a close look at the plan documents and the SBCs to ensure that it isn't somehow inadvertently a non-qualified HGHP. This is especially important with self-insured plans. It's something you're going to have to watch year after year. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching.